Another election tomorrow. President Trump backing Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach for the Republican nomination to be governor of Kansas in tomorrow's primary. President Trump tweeted this, quote, Chris Kobach, a strong and early supporter of mine, is running for governor of the great state of Kansas. He is a fantastic guy who loves his state and our country. He will be a great governor and has my full and total endorsement, strong on crime, border, and military. Vote Tuesday. Chris Kobach is the man the president was talking about. He joins us tonight, the Kansas Secretary of State, running for the Republican nomination, and the election suddenly is upon us. Uh, Chris, good to have you with us. And uh, you're running basically neck and neck with your opponent. Uh, you know, some of the polls have you up. Uh, give us a, a sense of where you are right now in the race uh, and, and, and evaluate for us the support, the endorsement of President Trump in Kansas. Oh, great to be back with you, Lou. Uh, yeah, the polls had a yeah, single-digit race. Our latest poll, had, and this was about <clears throat> five days ago, had us up about nine points. But, you know, 20 percent were undecided in that poll. And, and the president's endorsement comes at a pivotal time because it helps Republicans decide if they're trying to make up their mind in the last few days. So uh, we're just, I, I'm so honored to have his support. And, and we're just delighted going into Election Day tomorrow uh, to have President Trump behind us. The differentiator between you and your opponent. Uh, obviously, you support the president's agenda, uh, the, the contract to make America great again. Uh, and the differentiator for the voters of Kansas when they look at you and your opponent. You know, I think there are probably two big issues. One is that I signed the pledge not to raise taxes, and I've been campaigning aggressively on cutting taxes, whereas he's been increasing spending while he's been governor. Uh, the other big issue is illegal immigration, something you and I have been talking about, Lou, for the better part of two decades. Right. Um, as you know, I've been fighting to stop illegal immigration uh, in, in cities and states across the country. Here in Kansas, we've got $424 million worth of public welfare and other benefits going to illegal aliens. We've got sanctuary counties. We give in-state tuition to illegal aliens. And I've been saying, hey, it's time for all of that to stop, and people know I'll do it. And, and my opponent hasn't done anything to stop those uh, problems. You know, it's stunning as, as, as you and I look back over the years. Uh, there was a time, 2006, uh, the, the bill was comprehensive immigration reform, as you recall, Senator Ted Kennedy and Senator yeah. John McCain, the proponents and the, and the uh, authors of that legislation. The issues have really not changed dramatically, but the circumstances have become uh, certainly more consequential. Uh, the, the issues uh, and the possible consequences more dire uh, than ever. And yet the establishment churns out propaganda daily, that there's no cost to, uh, to free trade, that there is no cost to illegal immigration and, and, and the assault on American middle class jobs and those who aspire to our middle class. If it weren't for this president, my Lord, where would we be as a country? And that's a question I think every American right. going into this fall really needs to ask themselves, what if President Trump hadn't been elected? That's exactly right. Look, you know, the establishment uh, reacted negatively when President Trump was running in 2016, as you know. I mean, he right. was threatening to turn off the supply of illegal labor nationally, and I'm threatening to do that in Kansas. And, and regular Kansans, just like regular Americans all across this country, are saying, you know, we're sick of illegal immigration. We want the rule of law. Uh, we are a country of laws. And I think we're seeing that in this Kansas election as well. Yeah, and, and in Kansas, uh, this president has stood up like it's President Xi, the European Union, and said, we're going to have balanced trade. There will be no more of this yeah. uh, Koch brothers nonsense. There's no more Chamber of Commerce uh, blather. Uh, we're going to have balanced, reciprocal, fair trade. And no one is going to have to carry this on their backs, as uh, literally millions of Americans have, whether their jobs were being outsourced, whether they were manufacturing jobs uh, being stripped uh, out of the heartland or whether it's farmers uh, begging for markets instead yeah. of having access to them. 
Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, it, Lou, you think about it, those are two issues that establishment Republicans and Democrats have refused to address for right. many decades. The, the illegal immigration problem and the trade imbalance. And we finally have a president who is addressing both of them. And everybody knows he's absolutely serious about doing it. And I think that's what you're seeing, you know, in, in gubernatorial races like mine, where you have conservatives who echo the president's sentiment on those issues. A lot of people are saying, yeah, I agree with him. Yeah. And, uh, and tomorrow, uh, that agreement will be expressed in the uh, polling booths of Kansas. Uh, we appreciate you being with us, Chris Kovac. Thanks so much. Always good to talk with you. Always a pleasure.